Hi there, Alan. So we've got more essays. Great. Very happy to see that you're working hard. So let's take a look at what you've done today. First one is pie charts. Okay, let's see. The pie charts provide information on the varied expectations associated with eight subjects, which were taught in New South Wales schools for the years 2014 and 2017. I disagree with this, where it's the varied expectations. It was the subject preference. So what does that mean? It means the subjects that the students preferred. Okay? Okay, so um, overall, we can see that after three years, students lost interest in sciences like maths and geography, physical education. Okay, and this is incorrect. You disappeared chemistry. Um, as well, uh, let's see. Let's change it. It can't be as well as disappeared chemistry. So students lost interest in sciences like maths and geography. Uh Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, so, maths, comma, geography, and physical education, while chemistry disappeared. Okay, so that's one way you could do it. Let's try it again from the beginning. So, students lost interest in sciences like maths, geography, mm, maths and geography, and physical education, while chemistry disappeared, whereas physics, biology, um, and particularly history, grab their attention. Okay, okay. Um, you know what? I don't think all of this was necessary, all right? I mean, it's a lot of information for an overview. I mean, you basically covered all the subjects, and so you don't have to do that in the overview. What you do want to do is just highlight, like, the biggest thing or the two biggest things, like who was the biggest, who was the smallest, who had the biggest increase. Um, now, you didn't include the pie chart. I've seen it, but I can't, like, remember exactly. Um, so you could have just said uh, who had the biggest loss, for example, and then who had the biggest gain, if I remember correctly, it's history. Um, and then you could have mentioned that chemistry disappeared, all right? So, but including all of them in your overview is just a little bit too much information. Okay, it is evident the interest assessed in 2017 shows how math, geography, and PE decreased approximately by 15, 19, and 5% respectively. Following the same trend, the preference for chemistry was absolutely abandoned since at the beginning it just had 1%. One, two, three, four things. Okay, however, the figures illustrate the growing popularity of history with an overwhelming increase of around 18%. The subject was followed by biology, which almost doubled its initial proportion of 13.4%. Finally, physics registered, registered a rise of around 2%, and the subject, modern subject of IT barely rose, not arose, with an insignificant percentage of 02 Okay, Alan, as far as your grammar and your Lexis is concerned, it's fine. I mean, there are no problems whatsoever. However, um, you... You've done something nice in that you've compared the two um, the two pie charts, but I have no understanding of what the 2001 looks like. So it's great to compare, but you at least have to give us figures. I mean, you keep talking about how much they increased, but you didn't tell me what the starting point was or um, the end point. You said it rose around this much, it rose by this much, but I don't know. I mean, was it zero? I mean, maths, for example, was it zero in 2014 uh, and then in 2017 it was 15%? I have no idea. Or was it like 50% and then it rose to 65? So I have no understanding of what these figures mean, okay? So yes to the comparisons, good, but you do have to give the examiner an understanding. Remember, the idea is, is that you want the examiner to more or less be able to um, envision to visualize what you're looking at, okay? So uh, he or she should have enough information from your description to be able to be like, okay, yeah, I can kind of see what this looks like without actually looking at it, all right? That's the ideal here. That's the goal. Okay, so uh, those two main things, not enough information here, too much information in your overview. Let's go on to your task two. Here it is, okay. The issue of whether youth have to look for new jobs or hold and specialize their specialize mm, hold this okay and specialize in their current positions has grown since the advent of the post-war era. I consider that regular change is a requirement for personal development, and this essay will expose some valid reasons. Okay, fine. 
The first reason is that after applying and working in different sectors, young people can acquire practical knowledge and valuable abilities. In the real world, the labor market is constantly varying because every time requires what? Because every time it requires, or I think you mean all the time, it requires qualified workers who are able to face problems and make good decisions by themselves. For instance, international labor organization studies show that as long as youth take take part in many work areas, the human capital of a specific region will increase notably to generate more progress. Therefore, it must be promoted by each state policy. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay. There was something I wanted to point out here. All right, all right. It, it, I think it's fine. Okay. The second reason is that young people have time as well as strength to focus and make the best endeavor in each work. I think you mean in each job. This is because they do not have stressful responsibilities such as children or debts. In this line of action, I think you mean um, in this line of thinking, maybe. It is possible for them for them to experience f new mm, to ex freely experience new sorts of job improvement or maybe you mean professional development not pro job improving their skills uh, i'm not really sure what this means and evaluating aspirations it is well known that if they had family it would be more difficult to avoid those obligations are i'm confused i'll tell you why in a minute Another reason worth mentioning is that this research tends to become a fruitful activity, despite the fact that this process sometimes could be rife with frustration or lack of motivation. Some nonprofit organizations research has demonstrated how this how these activities, ESE, are rewarded in the future development of own talents and lifelong learning. To conclude, the search for other jobs would amount to significant investment in youth. Furthermore, according to the discussed reason, it seems to be a trend that will continue in our modern society. Okay, so I was trying to understand, um, you didn't actually include the task um, as it was written, um, what you were actually answering. I, If I remember correctly, it's an essay about how young people are switching jobs and do the positives outweigh the negatives. I, I'm not really sure exactly. So that's why please include it um, when you send us your answer. I need to refer to it um, often, okay? Um, I had a hard time understanding. I think that's what this topic was about. But in order to really accurately um, tell you the pros and cons of this essay, I do need to refer to it. So, for example, I don't know if you were supposed to talk about the negatives of this at all. You talked only about the positives of this, okay? Um, I would advise against having three body paragraphs. You probably should have taken this little one and kind of added it to one of your other paragraphs, okay? That's one thing. Um, let's see. Um, I didn't totally also agree with some of your arguments. Um, I mean, I just, I didn't really feel like you supported it. If this is about the young people changing, about young people changing jobs all the time, um, I mean, as opposed to whom here, for example, as opposed to older people, like older people shouldn't change jobs because they have families and responsibilities, but for young people, it's okay. So it was kind of, um, some of the arguments were kind of hard to be convincing. Um, and this, you didn't really explain to us why it's rife with frustration, um, but how you know, you develop lifelong talent. So this was really underdeveloped for me, okay? So I'm against, and you know what? You honestly could have left this out, this whole paragraph, you could have left it out. Because number one, it's underdeveloped. And number two, I think that you, um, you had ideas, so you didn't need this paragraph. So I would have removed this completely now that I think about it again. Um, I wanted a little more development. I wanted a little more hardcore um, examples. Um, Let's see. And, you know, why you have to change jobs in order to get some of these benefits, okay? Um, here as well. I mean, why does changing jobs equal these benefits that you talk about? Like, why couldn't you have these benefits in your your own job just by adding new responsibilities and, and you know, making, like you said here, good decisions by yourself? That's why I was saying that some of your arguments weren't really 100% convincing, okay? Uh, I know you're thinking, well, you know, Ellen, this is a, 
an English test, it's not an ideas test. Yeah, well, that's true, but you also have to convince the examiner that, um, you know, you've thought about these and you, you know, that they, they kind of make logical sense as well. All right, um, I want to see these corrected. I want you to, um, you know, also some of the grammar here was a little strange. Like, to conclude, the search for jobs would amount to significant investment in youth. This was weird. I don't even think it's a grammar thing. I think it's a word uh, vocabulary problem. Like, what do you mean it's an investment in youth? Um, so that was a little strange to me. I didn't know what you meant here, and I think it's probably the wrong word. Um, I think maybe you meant that the search for jobs is very advantageous to young people. Maybe that's what you meant. So try it a little differently. Um, there were a couple of areas that were a little off for me. All right, so correct them and add to your error correction list and uh, write us new S's, of course. Uh, I'd like to see this rewritten. I want to see how you would uh, kind of redevelop it a little bit. So I'm looking forward to it, all right? I'll let you get to that. Good luck, and I will be waiting for your next essays.